Okay, if you can understand this one dating concept, your life will get very easy or your life will get a lot easier. So when dating, men view a good girlfriend as one who is good, okay? When dating, women view a good boyfriend as one who is bad. If you can understand this, life gets a lot easier. Okay, this is a bit of a different vibe today and I'm going to be showing you why women really do love bad men oftentimes. I'm going to be showing you a lot of uncomfortable truths and on top of that I'm going to be breaking this down at an even deeper level than probably any other content creator that you've ever seen. And truthfully I believe a lot of the content creators out there giving you dating advice are completely wrong or they're using a lot of theories that they wholeheartedly believe but the problem is in real life practice it doesn't work. Okay, if every single guy out there is chasing money and bigger muscles and status, you will learn in a quick hurry that that is not what women respond to when it comes to deciding who they want to date. So stick with me because I think that this video will change everything for you. Okay, we have so much to cover because basically all of you are getting the wrong advice from most of the content creators out there. So I'm going to clear up all of the confusion and I did not make this video for my own like enjoyment, I purely made this for you. So here's why women love bad men and how to get them actually attached or in love with you in a way where they actually want you to be their man. This is going to be some very uncomfortable truths, but I don't really care. So the first thing we have to do is we have to undo some of the false processing, okay, or undo some of the false beliefs. And a lot of these beliefs that you probably hold are even beliefs by other content creators that talk about dating, okay? so. We need terms and we need to actually define each meaning of each term first. Okay, so what most women want is opposite to what these guys are oftentimes telling you. Okay, so first, what is attraction to a woman? How does a woman feel attraction or what is attraction to a woman? We have to actually analyze this and address this first. I'm one of the only ones that I can see in this space a lot of times when it comes to content creation, and I could be wrong, right? There could be others, but this is my own term that I've actually defined with this. Attraction to a woman is a discrepancy in sexual market value. That is the only way that I've found for a woman to feel attraction for you or towards you, okay? So what does that mean? That means that she feels that your sexual market value is higher than hers, okay? That is attraction to a woman a discrepancy in sexual market value. If she feels that there is a discrepancy in sexual market value, she naturally becomes attracted to or likes that guy to some degree, okay? So let me give you an example. Let's say you are out with some friends and you guys are on the lake or you guys are doing something or you're on a boat. And let's say you're a guy who isn't the best looking, doesn't have a lot of social status and doesn't have a lot of money, okay? Majority of content creators that talk about masculinity would typically tell that guy that he has a low sexual market value. This couldn't be further from the truth because let's say that guy starts talking and she thinks he's charming or she likes his personality and she goes, whoa, he has way more charisma than me. That shows a discrepancy in sexual market value in a certain area her attraction mechanisms work in that guy's favor. Okay, so this isn't stuff that you can measure on paper. So what is attraction to a, a woman? A attraction or attraction in general to a woman is a discrepancy in SMV. Okay, I'm glad we got that out of the way because it's not looks, okay, it's not money, it's not status that may contribute to some of it at some points or at some times, but women start to really look at the character and the individual of the man past that first 20 to 30 seconds. So we have to address that. Now, number two, okay, she must know other women at or above her level of attraction want you or are interested in you or, or that you could potentially be with them if you chose to be. So this is the other part that guys don't understand. A lot of guys keep thinking that they need to fix their game. They're like, oh, I need better game. Yo, bro, how good is your game? I can out game my way out of this, right? If I just know what to text message and if I just know how to talk, right? No, you can't. Another thing that guys think is guys think, oh, if my masculine frame is good enough, right? I can just high value my way out of it. I gotta have really good frame. This is total bullshit too, okay? Because the truth is this, in order for that woman that you find beautiful to stay interested in you, she needs to see that other women at her current level of attractiveness or above are also interested in you. 
She needs raw physical proof. Like she needs to see it with her own two eyes. I don't care if she needs to see it by other women who follow you on social media. Maybe you're out in a social setting and you're getting attention. Whatever the case may be, if that isn't present, I don't care how good your game is. Eventually you're going to have that woman start to pull away from you. So glad we got that out of the way. Now, second, the second thing we have to do, because this is where most guys talking about masculinity are completely wrong. We have to redefine what masculine is to a woman. Okay. So I don't care what your definition is of it because a lot of guys will always tell you their definition, right? A masculine man is one of honor and respect and dignity. A masculine man is one of high corporate social status. A masculine man is one who's a millionaire. A masculine man is one who has big biceps. I don't care. We have to look at it through her lens, not yours. Because if you want what you want, which is a beautiful, attractive woman, you're going to have to give her what she wants, which is masculine, but through the way that she sees the world. So I have also put a definition to this because we have to actually define each meaning of each term. If we say masculine, what I have found to be masculine in the lens of a woman, okay, we have to redefine what masculine is to women. So that means their lens, not yours. Masculine to a woman is a man who is comfortable 100% with his own unique identity, regardless of what other people think. Okay. So this is why guys like machine gun Kelly, if you know who that is, right? He's a artist or he's a music guy. Okay. This is why guys like that can dress like him and women will start to love him or women go crazy for it. So the reason why is because it's unique and he has his own style. So masculine oftentimes through the lens of a woman is a guy who does things on his own terms the way he would like it to be. So there is no amount of money or game or status that can make up for that. No. Okay. They view the world through a different lens. So these are the definitions that I place around these words because I think that this can help you the most. And all it takes is all it takes is seeing what types of guys women really like on social media. And all it takes is going out to a real nightlife environment once or twice, instead of sitting at home, watching more videos and actually going and seeing which are the guys that women gravitate towards, because it's never the guys that you think if you walk into a house party, okay. And there's 30 people and there's 15 guys and 15 girls, everybody, that's a guy is probably looking at the one guy who you think is like handsome or tall or good looking. And you think that that is the guy that all of the women are going to want or that they're gravitating towards. Meanwhile, all of the women actually secretly want this other guy over here. Who's not as tall as that guy. And he's wearing a leather jacket and looks totally different. And you didn't even notice him, but see women's lens of attraction is different. So keep that in mind. Now, because I was able to actually put some clarity around this and I was able to actually give guys answers, this is why I crafted and created the language of women to help guys understand this. And this is why we now have over 700 guys together learning and understanding this. And I invite you to join us inside of that because I'm watching these guys get real results because finally we're adding some actual like terms and defining what each of these things mean. Now that we have that addressed. Okay. Now that we've actually dialed that in. Now what we have to do is we have to understand female sexual arousal because what you're going to find is it is not the masculine traits, qualities, and characteristics that you typically find attractive. Okay. What women typically find attractive. Okay. Women are oftentimes aroused by things that would be considered bad or evil. Okay. So when all of these guys online talk about alpha, this and alpha that it couldn't be further from the truth. Okay. The male lens of attraction is all you see the world through. If you're a guy, because you can only see the world through your own two eyes, right? But often it's very different how she sees it. Okay. So you look at sex appeal as a V taper, six pack abs, a motorcycle and status, right? You have a million social media followers. However, women view arousal through a storybook. It's like they want to uncover you page by page. Well, why does he dress like that? Why does he look like that? Why does he choose those accessories? Why does he wear that jewelry? Why does he pick that occupation? Why is he not giving me any attention? Why does he think the way he does? It's a storybook. She needs to uncover you page by page. The slower you uncover yourself, the better, because now that mystery works in your favor. So to women, a guy who is more attractive sexually to them, or what would even be considered alpha. Okay. This is typically a guy that engages in what's bad. Okay. So years ago, this would actually be called sinful. Okay. People don't use that term as much nowadays, but that is actually what women typically will find attractive or arousing. So these guys 
oftentimes will act out of emotion and they will do things based off how they feel in that moment. And what happens is they go against the grain of what most guys do. So these are going to be the men that women will oftentimes gravitate towards. Whether you like that or not, whether that makes you feel good or bad is irrelevant because once you start to see the world through that lens and you actually look at the truth, that's typically what happens. Now, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the difference in patterns of thinking. So men will oftentimes default to logic, okay? So logically, if you're going to date a woman, you would want a good woman, okay? Men like women who are good. So now what you are going to do is you're going to list off all of the traits that you think is good, okay? So if you were to have a perfect girlfriend or whatever, you would want a woman oftentimes who's loyal, caring, loving, nurturing, sweet, because logically this makes sense, right? Logically, we would want someone who has a good personality, good, wholesome, nurturing, amazing, right? So guys would ask themselves questions like, is she nice to me? Does she support me, right? Does she show care, affection, and love towards me, right? Does she treat me well and with respect? These are the questions you'd ask yourself, and these are the things that you would want oftentimes in a woman that you're going to date. Women are completely opposite oftentimes. Women default to emotion, so everything that you want, they want the opposite. So what does that mean? That means women consider a good man as one who is bad, oftentimes the way they look at the world. If he's bad, she goes, oh, that's a good dating companion for me because he's bad. Women like bad men. So now let's look at all of the traits that are bad, okay? The opposite of loyal would be not loyal. She's gonna look at that and go, ooh, that's enticing. The opposite of caring would be self-centered. She's gonna look at that and go, wow, that's enticing, okay? The opposite of loving would be not loving. Once again, she's going to look at that and go, oh wow, that's enticing, okay? Next, nurturing. The opposite of that would be selfish. She's going to look at that and go, that's enticing. And last but not least, if you want a woman who's sweet, she views a good man as one who's bad, which means if you want a, a woman who's sweet, the inverse of that or the opposite of that would be an asshole. And this is typically the guy that the woman wants. Now, here's what we have to look at this through. Okay, emotionally, it's her storybook timeline to try and change him. So she wants oftentimes a project. And the project would be, can I take a man who is bad and try to make him good for me or fall in love with me? This is her storybook of attraction that she tries to gravitate towards because once again, she sees the world through her own lens. Okay, you, you're not going to change that. So emotionally, it's her storybook timeline to change him. So a woman looks at him and goes, he's rude, he's disrespectful, he doesn't really give a shit about me. Okay, I love him. Because women like bad men. So now if you shift your attention over here, man's internal character, okay, is much more important to her. So here's why oftentimes women will fall in love with like broken men, okay, because she needs something to fix she wants to change him and she prefers the villain. So this is what you're going to find. I made this video just to clear things up. There's a lot of videos online right now talking about what is considered masculine and all of this. And the fact is in the real world, when it comes to real life practicality and what actually happens day to day in dating interactions, most of the stuff that I'm seeing is total bullshit. So this is what happens in the real world. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.